Howdy, everybody. Tri Hobo, Steve Green here. And what is the best thing about triking? Well, for me, it depends on the time of year. There's great things about triking. They're comfortable. You can ride them across the country, uh, interstate, and you can just ride them all day long. It's not like a bicycle. You don't develop cancer or have wrists or neck or groin problems. There's so much to be said about a tricycle, which you probably already know if you're watching this channel. But what's the absolute best thing about a tricycle? Well, during the months of September and October, there's one thing about a tricycle that shines above everything else. And here's what it is. As you know, <clears throat> you can park a tricycle anywhere. Let's say you're driving down the road in a car, it's a little one lane in each direction rural road and it has a shoulder about this wide. <laughs> and then there's bushes on either side of it. You can't park the car. <clears throat> now why would you want to park a car if you're in a car? Well, I'll tell you why. Because when you ride on these little rural roads out in the country, probably a lot of places in the United States, and especially here in the Northwest where I live, there are things, there are bushes that you want to stop at for a while and you can just park the track any place and do that. And why do you want to stop at bushes along the side of the road where you can't stop in a car? Ha! Here is the key to why trikes are awesome, and it's because there are blackberries on blackberry bushes along the side of the road during September and October where I live, and blackberry bushes, they're really thorny, horrible bushes, you know, with, with vines about this big around, sometimes bigger, man, and they have horrible puncture uh, needles on them. I mean, you do not want to get your arm or your clothing or your pants or your legs caught in these things, so you have to be really careful. But you park there, you see, and there's literally hundreds or thousands or millions or billions or quadrillions or quintillions of blackberries just in the state of Oregon. You know, I mean, they're like most of them in these bushes you can't get to because they're in the interior of the bush and these bushes that have been grown for years are huge so there's like there's like millions of blackberries you can't even access so you have to pick along the fringe of the bush and when these blackberry bushes are around town people are wise to this they love those blackberries you know and uh, i've i've uh, got them on my rides i've picked them on my trip down to the, the um, Pacific Coast, Northern California, north of Crescent City. I, was, I stopped and was picking a bunch of them. Uh, the and the nice thing about a trike is you can just pull over any old place, you see blackberries, and that's another thing. When you're speeding along the road in a, in a vehicle, a car, an automobile, you I mean, if you're going fast, can you tell where the blackberries are? No. <laughs> But on a trike, we're slower than molasses, right? Well, for human power, we are, right? I know a lot of people use electric power trikes now, but I think they can still uh, spot the blackberries even at, at 20 miles an hour. But for us uh, slow, human-powered people, uh, trikers, it's easy to spot the blackberries. You can see them coming up, and you can stop, and you can pick to your heart's delight. And it, it is great, you know? And if you're on a trip, or whatever, you can just pick and eat, pick and eat, pick and eat. Of course, the thing is, on a trip, uh, you, you get so carried away with eating these things that you're sitting there losing time at the side of the road. But that's okay. It's all in the experience. It only happens September and October. Well, of course, September and October are the best. Uh, September's the best uh, cycling month that I have found, and October's close behind it. August can still be a little hot, depending on where you're going. If I'm going... Uh, you know, down the eastern Sierra in August, it's it's a little hot. That's why I don't leave till usually September or whatever. And if you leave too late, like in October, you can get into snowstorms, which I did once. So anyway, blackberries. Two months out of the year, as far as I'm concerned, these trikes are perfect 
for finding blackberries. You're getting your exercise, you're out in nature, beautiful surroundings, and blackberries everywhere. And see, the thing is, the best blackberries are not picked because they're at the side of the road where people in automobiles, usually petroleum powered, can't stop to pick them. Even if they did see them, they can't park the car there because they need parking in the lane. So you see, that's what's great. These trikes, you just park them alongside of the road and you, you pick to your heart's delight. So anyway, that's it. Blackberries, blackberries, or what is it? There's one called uh, Marionberries that is like bigger, I guess. I think that's what it's called. But anyway, that's my little rant for today. If you live somewhere where there are uh, ample blackberry bushes everywhere, like billions or trillions or quadrillions of these things, you're in luck. Now, if you live out in the desert, in the southwest, I don't think blackberries grow out there. I don't know, but, uh, you know, I've spent a lot of time in deserts growing up and through my life and riding through them on my tricycle and uh, haven't seen any blackberries. But in California, Oregon, two states I'm well aware of, and uh, Colorado, where I used to live in a high country up there at 9,000 feet, blackberries. All right. See you, folks. Go get some blackberries today <laughs> because it's the middle of October right now. And if you don't hurry up, they're not going to be left, any left. They're just going to fall off the vine. See ya.